Okay, I'm just going to work through a, an example on aspect ratios. I, I created a, an instructional video, but I figured we might want to walk through an example just in case you needed it. Okay, let's say I'm upgrading the TV in my living room. Um, I kind of want a 75 inch, but I'm not sure if it's going to fit in the space that I have. So I need to figure out what the width and the height are because that's where I, that's what I need, right? So I need the width, I need the height. I don't know those, but I do know that the diagonal is 75 inches, and I know the aspect ratio is 16 to 9. So before we said we're treating this like similar triangles, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make, I'm going to take this and then go to the next page. Let's get this over here. Okay, so I'm going to set up my triangles. So I have my one triangle that's my 16 by 9 triangle. Oops. I have my other triangle that's a similar triangle, but it's just bigger. Pretend those are the same shape. So this is 16, this is 9. This, I don't know. This is 75. Oops. These, I don't know. But those, I want to know. Okay, so the first thing I need is I need to find my C value. So I go, okay, this is 16 squared plus 9 squared. We did this a while ago, so this is C squared equals 256 plus 81, so that's 337. So I square root both sides. And my C value was 18.36. See. Yeah, 18.36. Eighteen point three six. My next step is I need the scale factor because I'm scaling up. So I'm going to put scale factor. It's so my scale factor. I'm using my similar size. So in this case, my similar sides are 75 and 18 something. So these two. So that's what I divide. I go to 17, 75 divided by 18.36. So my scale factor is 4.08. So now, that's what I use to find my measurement. So my width is going to be 16 times that, because I'm just taking these two, right, the 16 and the 9, and I'm multiplying them by the scale factor to get my width and my height. So this is going to be 16 times 4.08. Should have done that in that other color. Let's see. I like the colors because it kind of reminds you where the things came from. Okay, so if I do that, so 16 times 4.08, I get 65.3. It's like 65.28 inches. And then I do the same for the height. So my height is 9, right, on the smaller triangle. So I'm going to go 9 times 4.08. So that one gives me 36.72. So I can write those up here. So my width was 65.28 inches. And my height is 36.72. And I'm done. So that gives me that gives me what I need to know. So now I can take that and then I can tell whether or not the TV is gonna fit in my living room.